Okay, today's uh, project, I've uh, added on some relays here. I'm going to um, make the wiring of this car a little safer and more reliable than original. This relay is going to uh, send power to the main uh, factory fuse box. That way I can shut it off with a toggle switch if I ever have an electrical problem. This relay is going to run the ignition and probably the water injection system. And this is going to be my uh, starter relay. Um, and on to the next thing. I've decided to put a safety switch in to power the distributor. This is um, normally cuts off a fuel pump, but the way it works, it's a Holly product or Mr. Gasket, they're all related. It uh, sends power normally as long as it has oil pressure. And then it shuts the power off when it doesn't have oil pressure. It's set at 15 pounds. So if you're ripping on the engine around the autocross track and you lose oil pressure, this will shut your motor off the way I'm going to wire it. Um, you got three, three prongs and they're well labeled. You get power going to your, your load, which in my case would be the distributor instead of the pump. You have this power coming from the ignition switch or that relay that I just showed you. And then the starter relay prong is going to come from my starting switch to uh, bypass this for starting because of course it has no oil pressure when the engine is off and you're trying to start it. Um, I'm running a Pertronix uh, distributor so um, it's going to be protected in two ways because my the distributor has a rev limiter built into it, so it'll be protected for both RPMs and oil pressure drops. This block here is going to help me divide my wiring up coming off of those relays. And so in the end, um, most of my switchable things are going to be with ground wires, like uh, more modern cars, instead of with hot wires all over the place. And I think that makes it safer. And um, in the end, it's going to reduce the load on the original fuse box okay I'm set up here to uh, show how this switch works and how and why I'm going to wire it the way I am I have the ground hooked to the uh, starter relay tab and so now I'm going to touch it on to the ignition switch tab and as you can see the uh, continuity does not change so if you put it over on the other side to the load side continuity change so it goes way down and so the way that works is you have your power supply going in from the ignition and it when you have oil pressure it sends power to the pump all right and so these two are continuous, and this is why they call that the starter relay one, because when the engine is not running yet, it has no oil pressure, so you need to have power to your coil in order to make the thing start. So when you turn the key to the start position, this one gets hot, sends power to this, which starts the engine. And then once it's running, power goes through this one to this one once the switch is, is closed. And um, as long as the engine has oil pressure, it'll stay running. But if it loses oil pressure, it cuts out, shuts the motor down. That's how that works. So now I'm going to get to wiring it, and then I'll explain that. Okay, here I have some wires done. Um, we're starting with the uh, oil pressure switch here. This is the power that's coming from the, uh, we'll call it the battery. And uh, it's feeding power both straight to the switch for when the car is running and also to this relay for when you're turning the start switch. This relay, of course, transfers the power to this wire, which comes back here for starting. And this, of course, is the plug that goes to the HEI distributor. And from here, what I have left to do, mount these on the car, run power to here, and which will split off and it'll give power to this and the other side will be a ground 
the ground will go back to my start button. And that will be the way this system works. And I will be able to uh, switch this on and off. I could put a toggle switch in between, or I could just have it hooked to the start button only, uh, whichever way I want to do. If I have it switched to a toggle switch, then that would help me out if this if this failed and I needed to get the car home. But uh, that's how far we are now. So the next step is to start mounting it on the car and then run the rest of the wiring to it. Okay, I got some things installed. This is the beginning of the uh, the block here, the wiring block that I have. Uh, this is the power going to the distributor. This is the ground wire that signals the relay for start. Over here is the, re the relay wired up. You got your signal wire, which is a ground. On the other side is power to power the coil inside of it. This wire goes to the uh, distributor. The other one is from the source, which is this. Over here, you have your sender down here and the wires hooked up. You can't see them, but I went over it earlier and here it is. And over time, I'll get things arranged so they look a lot nicer. As you can see, my plug wires are not very artistic right now, but it works for me right at the moment. Okay, here we are. I finished wiring this in. As you know, here's the power going to the distributor. Here's the ground that goes to activate the solenoid up on the firewall during starting. Down here is a little junction block. Here is the wiring for uh, the ignition and the uh, start. This one here is for start. It goes to this solenoid. This ground here comes from the key when you turn the crank. And this here is actually hot, but unfortunately I got the wrong color wire leading to the starter, but that activates the starter solenoid. This wire comes back here goes to this solenoid uh, relay, sorry, which gets its power from up here. This power is the main power for the ignition. This one goes to power the coil, which is grounded by this wire here and comes up to here. So all that's left to start the car is to hook a ground wire here going to an ignition switch, which will be for run and hook a ground wire here which will go to the ignition switch which will be the crank and if you've noticed um, I've reversed the polarity and um, that's that's intentional it's to make the car safer and less likely to catch fire my brother and I have both had antique cars short out uh, this solenoid uh, I keep saying solenoid this relay is going to send power over to the main wiring harness and uh, it'll come off of here, you know, through just machine bolts. So that way I can put wiring on the bottom side of this as well. Send power to here, run it to the main, uh, main wiring harness of the car. And straight from here to the other side, I'm going to have a couple more relays set up over for the headlights. That way, these wires that currently power the headlights are going to wind up becoming signal wires and they're going to uh, activate relays that are going to be mounted here somewhere and the power from straight from the battery is going to power the headlights that'll take 20 amps of load off of the uh, wiring harness which is older than I am so there you go the uh, ignition is wired in and uh, it's just a matter of hooking up those two ground wires and it'll run Okay, she does start and run. Um, I'm going to show the wiring is all hooked up. I I just hooked up my jumpers to my remote start setup, and uh, here are the two ground wires that hook there. Got a little smoke because uh, it's really cold out and I don't have doors open. But And uh, the first thing I'm going to check here 
I'm going to show that uh, continuity. Have my test light here. As you can see, we have light here. Over here, it's down because the switch is off. Okay, I just turned the ignition on. You have power here. Turn the ignition off, power is off again. Grounds are harder to tell. There's no ground here, there's no ground here. There's power there. And when I hit the start button, power there. So I think I've explained it. It works well. Uh, obviously, the the big advantage is that it protects the engine from oil oil pressure loss. It'll shut the engine down, and it works. There you go. Huh? Please like and subscribe.